So I play on a PC, but I actually don't use a keyboard. I use a controller in my left hand and then a mouse in my right hand. And I actually like playing with a keyboard, but it just, it really hurts my left hand uh, when I play. It happens really quickly too, just after a few minutes. I don't really know why. What the fuck? If you like hand pain when you're playing, this is a great alternative to that. Or if you're just used to playing with a controller, you're a noob to PC, it's a great alternative. Or like maybe you have little girly baby hands and you just, your hands can't stretch and reach the keys. I just wanna show you how to set up your controller to be able to use it in all games as a keyboard. Uh, there's an app I found that lets you map your controller to keyboard function so the game will see it as keyboard keys. Some games like Battlefield 5, uh, it'll just let you use the controller and a mouse and a keyboard all at the same time. Most games won't do that. You can only use a mouse and a keyboard or the controller. You can't use all of them at the same time. So I use an Xbox One Elite controller and I think it's probably the best controller that you could use for this. Um, and that's mainly because you can get two paddles here on the bottom that you can use with just your one hand. Because, you know, really the most important thing with your choice of controller for this is you just, you want to get the most amount of finger banging action as possible. Because compared to a keyboard, you are very limited with the amount of buttons you have. And that gives you two extra buttons that you can use. And you can use those buttons without having to take your thumb off the movement key and stop moving, which I think is really important in FPS games. And it can be kind of uncomfortable or awkward using a controller with just one hand at first. Um, it was definitely really awkward for me at first, but I got used to it. And then I like to just put like a little hat or like some kind of cushion down here for my hand. You could play up on the desk like this. You also play with it down in your lap. You know, just be careful when your mom walks in because it might make it look like you're jacking off. So this program is called Rewazda. They have a free 14 day trial and it's only $16. It works with a ton of different controllers. Xbox Elite 1 and 2, DualShock 4, Joy-Con, Xbox One, PS Navigation, Xbox 360, DualShock 3, Switch Pro, Stadia. I don't know what all those lame ass controllers are, but you know, if you have an old Xbox 360 controller or PlayStation controller, those will work fine. And if you're a little kid and $16 is a lot of money for you, don't worry. You can just sell your body on the internet. There's a lot of old men out there who are willing to pay top dollar for your supple little cheeks. I just want to add, I saw another YouTube video where a guy used a Steam controller in his left hand. And with that, you don't even need to get this app. Uh, natively, just lets you remap the buttons and keyboard keys. And one cool thing is that the left stick is actually an analog stick. You don't have to change it to WASD. And I think it even has a, a one paddle on the bottom also. So this is the app right here. Uh, it looks really nice. It's really simple and easy to use. Like with the Xbox Elite, it has a little switch right here that you can customize two separate mappings on. And it gives you that within the app. So you can do two different ones. I believe these right here are uh, gives you different mappings. You can get f five different ones with these as well, and it looks like you can get a shortcut key to switch to them. And then when you first get the program and go to use it, um, it's not gonna look like this right here. It's gonna be completely blank, and then it won't do anything. Can't do anything with it. This is the only thing that was hard for me to figure out. So you just have to click on the little thing up here the menu and you go to add and then you give it a name you know dick balls or cock breath or whatever go to add <clears throat> now it'll let you remap everything and then I just you can actually do the same thing with your keyboard so like I'm about to show you you could use a single keyboard key and remap it so it can be multiple keyboard keys you could do the same thing with your mouse you can remap your mouse to keyboard functions and if you want to delete one of these things you made, you just go to, you right click on it and just click on delete. The way you remap them is, I would it's called rewise because it lets you remap the analog stick W A S D, or as the cool kids like to call it, ASWAD. And you can click on the buttons manually and then you get like a drop down, but actually the easiest way to do it is to just click the button on the controller and the app will just recognize it and then just click the button on the keyboard that you want to switch it to. And one of the best things about this app is that a lot of PC games, they don't let you map 
more than one function to a single key. So for example, you can't uh, have reload and enter exit vehicle be the same button in a lot of games. So this lets you get around that because obviously that could be an issue if you have a lot less if you have a lot less buttons like you would with a mouse and a controller than on a keyboard. So you can actually map up to four different buttons to one key. Here's just the normal one, a single press. I have this map to Q. I use that for weapon swap. And then you can do a separate one for a long press of the button. I have that mapped as prone. And then you can also, if you want, do a double click or a triple click for the button. And then this app has even more uh, options that I don't even know about. Start press mapping fires with other, I think that's if you, you can press this button like with another button at the same, so maybe you can press two buttons at once and it makes it a completely different button. So basically there's just an endless amount of ways that you can shit on your enemies. Hope this video helped you out. Uh, if it didn't, make sure to smash that dislike button. Don't just click it, but really smash it and leave some hateful comments in the comment section. I'm gonna do another video on all the button mappings that I do with both my mouse and my controller and why I think they're the best that you can use for FPS. I'm also gonna do another video reviewing the mouse that I use, why I think it's one of the best mice that you can use if you're not using a keyboard. And if you don't think that using a controller is for you, you find it uncomfortable, I made another video reviewing a couple different options you can use, which is basically a little half controller that you can use in your left hand, so check that out. There's a lot of old guys on the internet that'll pay top dollar for your <laughs> well, if you, 